Hey guys, so I gotta be kind of quiet at the mic fairly close to me. So while everyone in my house is asleep, I'm trying to put the finishing touches on this video. It's pretty much completely done. I just gotta do this quick intro. So let me tell you what I got for you guys today. So basically, I'm continuing where I left off in my Premiere Pro series. Today, I will be talking about the tools panel, specifically the Ripple Roll Slip and Slide tools. I go into why they're important and what it would be like if you did not have them. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Now, the Ripple Edit Shortcut B is a huge time saver. It allows you to adjust any edit point, causing the rest of the timeline to move into the cut to compensate. Allow me to show you what a novice editor would do to perform a Ripple Edit. So I'm gonna hit the spacebar to play. He's looking, knocks, and the guy comes in. What I want to do is I want him to pull off the glass and match cut with him looking down here in this shot. Press V for the uh, selection tool. And as soon as you have the selection tool and you go to the edge, you can pull out. So there he is, he pulls down, his head is down. Then I'm gonna click on the empty area here and I'm gonna hit delete. There's my edit that I want. He looks, waves, pulls out and matches the shot right here where he's looking down. So he's looking down there and he's looking down here. That wasn't uh, that time consuming, but when you take that, those three steps and you multiply it through an entire day of editing, it can slow you down. So let me show you what it would be with the tool. And I'm gonna select the ripple edit tool or the shortcut B. You'll notice that as soon as I go to the edge here, I have a yellow in or a yellow out, which is a ripple in, ripple out. And I want him to get off the glass, look down. There it is. Now, if you notice what happened in the timeline, everything compensated to adjust for my edit. So when I play it, looks, pulls off, and it matches perfectly. So here's another example of the ripple edit. There's a point in here when the character covers the uh, glass so that he can look through it without a glare. And that point is not being shown here, but I know it's in the edit. So I'm gonna hit uh, B for the ripple uh, tool and I'm gonna find it. So I'm gonna ripple to that point right there. I really like that. And now when I play it, he looks but it doesn't match with the other side. So I'll go to the opposite side, the pink here, and I'm going to ripple to that take. Right, actually I'm gonna go right to when he starts, right there. Now as you can see, I've got a match. Now when I play it back, he looks and matches, looking perfect. Now, what you saw there is that I wasted no time. I got exactly what I needed and I matched the cut to precision. And that's why the Ripple Edit tool is so important and a good habit to get into. Now, the Roll Edit tool, Shortcut N, is a tool that allows you to adjust the edit point between two clips. Let me make that clear, between the two clips without affecting the rest of the timeline. I would, um, let's say I have my characters here and he walks and in the next shot, he doesn't come in just yet. I want him to come into the next shot. For example, I wanna show his elbow. So for example, if I were to do this the long way, I would have to take this out and put it there and then follow up by grabbing this edge and putting it there. And now he comes into the shot and you see his elbow. So without the tool, that's how long it would take me. But if, if I was using the rolling edit tool, which the shortcut is N, so I'm gonna undo Command Z, Command Z. I'm gonna hit N for the rolling edit. And what I'll do is I simply just grab the uh, center of those two clips and basically get it to where I want it right there. 
and now it matches. I play it, and boom. So while the ripple allows you to match, the rolling allows you to decide where that match happens. Now the slip tool allows you to move the in and out points of a single clip at the same amount simultaneously so that the rest of the timeline is not affected. Now, I'm gonna show you what it's like to edit without the slip tool. So essentially I would have to maybe uh, the V for the selection tool, move these clips out of the way, bring the pink into the center so that I can move the uh, out point, um, sorry, the in point and the out point and edit. But there's really no way of seeing what I'm doing at the same time. Um, so I'm gonna undo all of that. That's without the tool. It's virtually impossible to get the same effect as if you were using the slip tool. Now, let me show you the benefits of using the slip tool. So I'm gonna press Y and the slip tool gets activated. As you can see, there's a red line through it because it's not activated. When it gets activated is when you place it over any clip in the middle there. Now I'm able to slip back and forth. Now what you're going to see on the screen, the screen, your program window changes, and it's going to give you a heads up display of the clip. So what you're seeing here is the beginning of that clip and what you're seeing on the other side, on the right side is the end of the clip. I know it looks a little confusing, but you're only dealing with the head and tail of one clip. And then the top two um, thumbnails are just showing you what's coming in and what's coming out, as you can see in the timeline. So as I move this back and forth, I'm able to see what I have coming in and what I have coming out of that clip. Let's take a look at my edit. So he comes in, he's looking at the glass, looking through the glass. And if you notice, there's a thump there. He makes a thumping sound. I don't want that thump sound in there. So I'm actually able to slip past that thump sound. So bring it in a little more. There. And it matches. So now he's looking. The thump is not there. Julius walks up. I'm going to fast forward. And he opens the door. Again, there's no match there. He's opening the door. There's no match. The door's still closed. Now, another way to use the slip tool is by using audio cues. Now, as you can see here on the timeline, I have a marker here and I have a marker here. There is a sound that this door makes, a squeaking sound. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that sound that's here and here every time the door is open, no matter what take, the door makes that sound. So I'm gonna hit the Y for my slip tool and I'm gonna slip forward until the door gets opened. Right there. And now when Julius opens the door, <coughs> the cut matches perfectly. And that is the power of the slip tool. Now the slip tool is great for matching action, but it's also great and not used uh, as often to match audio cues like you just saw here. So take advantage of that in your next edit and remember why is the shortcut for the slip tool. Now the last tool here is the slide tool, which allows you to move a clip back and forth in the timeline while simultaneously moving the adjacent clips to compensate. Now, without this tool, if I did not use this tool, you can imagine that it would be quite difficult to get the same effect. If I were to do this without the tool, I would literally have to move all of these out of the way, move this one out of the way, and then move this back and forth, and I still wouldn't be getting the same uh, push and pull effect that the slide tool provides. So I'm gonna undo everything. 
And that pretty much is the slide tool. I know that now that you have a better understanding of it, there will be there will come a time in your edit that you will realize, hey, I need to move my clip just a little bit over to the left. I know just the tool. And that tool is the slide tool. So I hope that helps. Okay, I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Um, the ripple, roll, slip and slide tools. Uh, hopefully uh, you have a better understanding of them now and you can really take your editing to the next level. In the next video, I will be going over the remainder of the tools in the tools panel. So look out for that. In the meantime, tell a friend to tell a friend, subscribe if you haven't already. And, and always, keep shooting y'all but remember stay safe first and then keep shooting